D is, it, is it something that you first started in your own agency trying to figure out a way to sell more life insurance? Yeah, yeah. I mean, really, I used to just do it on a piece of paper on a whiteboard, and I kind of scripted it, and then I had people start saying, hey, like, what are you doing? And I, I just show it to them. They're like, oh, you should... Like, can, can you videotape that for me so I can use it? And I had the bright idea because I'd been a teacher where we would we would create instructional videos for the kids in the weight room so they could learn how to lift properly, proper form, so mm. they wouldn't throw their back out or their hips out or something. And so we'd get these little cartoon videos that would teach the kids how to lift heavy weights, right? I was like, I should just do the same thing. So we created an instructional video <laughs> that really does what would take an agent two or three appointments or two or three hours to teach a customer, turn it into a four minute video clip and it's instant. What is up? Welcome back to the CA Power Player Podcast. I'm your host, Cody Askins, and we have an extremely special, amazing episode for you in office today. You guys know how much I love that. Listen to the guest we are about to introduce. I'm so jacked up about this. Here's why. He has an agency that does uh, about $2 million a year in a town of only 3,000 people. Think about that. He is also has a um, toolkit that agents can use to add an extra six figures. Here's an example. He helped, him and his business partner helped 399 agents in 2023 hit the million dollar mark and qualify for million dollar round table, which is like the holy grail in our industry. And he's actually speaking um, at MDRT in 2025 from Jackson Hole, Wyoming and insuranceagencytraining.org. Please welcome Randy Thompson. Thank you very much. Sure, glad to be here. Dude, thank you, man. I, I I am wildly impressed by what you are doing, what you have accomplished, and um, thank I you. keep hearing about this stairs and buckets thing. Yeah, you yeah. know, like it's like it's trickling around the industry because agencies and agents that are using um, this toolkit uh, in their sales presentations, from what I've I'm being told, mm -hmm. are doubling like two to three xing the size of their normal life insurance case yep which is that's it's, a big deal it's fantastic isn't it and it's <laughs> yeah. an easy tool whether you've been in the business three weeks three years 30 years you can cool. consistently have quality presentations very quickly with this tool it's awesome i love that that's what i like about it too is it, it's it's um a lot of the things that 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 are that can help agents they can be complicated, they can be expensive, they can be time consuming, they can be like, oh, I've gotta be a tech person or a coder, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. This is very applicable, very simple. You also just, actually, I got a behind the scenes look at this. Yeah, yeah. And I was very, very impressed. Thanks, yeah, very thanks. Impressed. Something I wish I'd had back when I was 20 years old. Hey, amen to that, yeah. I, I call it insurance 101 for dummies, right? If we <sighs> can just simplify this, a lot more people will put it in place. And to be honest, we can change the industry. Absolutely. We could. W where's your, um, I sense, as we've been getting to know each other the last couple of months, I sense um, a heart for people yeah. and like a big heart and someone who cares <laughs> a lot. Um, where's that come from? Oh. Uh, that's interesting you sense that. You know, I was the kid that grew up on the wrong side of the tra railroad tracks. I was, I was a kid that um, nobody gave a chance, you know, to mm. succeed in life. And uh, life was pretty tough. You know, we had a whole bunch of nothing. And I got in trouble a lot. The principal and the police knew who I was. And um, I had a coach. I had a coach in high school that grabbed a hold of me. And I don't know if he knew I was a troubled kid that needed help or if I was just the fighter in the schoolyard. But he said, mm. come into the wrestling room. I want you. And he taught me how to get disciplined and how to channel my energy and how to focus on um, not being the bully, but protecting others. And um, I was one of the only friends I like out of my group that ever graduated from high school and went on to college. Wow. And uh, I remember what it was like to grow up with nothing 
And I wanted to make sure that, one, I'd provide for my own family, but I always made sure that I left people better than I found them. And so when I got in this industry, I really started having some success, and I wanted to make sure everybody else could have that same success too. Yeah. Where would your life be if someone, uh, this coach, hadn't mentored you along the way? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if I'd be around. Yeah. yeah. I'm really grateful. Everybody needs a coach in life. Amen. Right? Yeah. And I'm lucky I had one. I've had several great, great mentors in my life, and I think all of us need them. We do. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Even even the, you know, the brand new agents that's sitting there struggling with watching us talk. And, you know yeah. what I mean? Dude from Wyoming and, and a dude originally from Arkansas just hanging out talking about insurance. Yeah. You know, and if a, if a high school, former high school teacher and wrestling coach can make it in this business in a little town of 3,000 people, any of you can. It mm. takes a little work. It takes a little bit of heart, but you can do it. Hey, man. And that's what I've sensed, too, is, is your belief. Now, you, you will openly say, like, it takes work. Yeah, this will work if you do, <laughs> for sure. Yep. Can't be, I don't know if I can say this, can't be a candy ass agent. You got to get after it, right? Yeah. And, yeah. and do your part, but you can be very successful. 100%. That's what I love about this industry. Anybody can do it. Yeah. How, how did you find it? And actually before that, what did you do before this? So I was a teacher and wrestling coach. I mean, I, I went to college and I thought, well, what could I do? I'll, I'll, I'll be a coach Crosby, you know? And uh, Because of what he meant to you. Yeah. That's because cool. of what he meant. But the challenge was, I remember getting my first teaching contract. I was so excited to sign that contract for seventeen thousand dollars. Seventeen. What year was this? Uh, Ninety-five. Okay. And I, uh, I thought I'd meet the big time. I, I really did. I thought I'd made the big time. Mm. But you know what? You fast forward about ten years, and uh, I had a mortgage and three kids and a car payment, and uh, I couldn't make ends meet. And I realized that I might go right back down the same rabbit hole I'd been as a kid, and I didn't want that. So there was an opportunity to shift careers and move into insurance, and hmm. everybody I knew in the insurance world had pots of gold at the end of their rainbows. So I thought, okay, well, how hard could this be? Mm -hmm. And then I realized, you know, and I, I jumped into it thinking it would be really, really successful. I wasn't afraid of hard work, but I think in the first three months, I probably lost fifty thousand dollars wow in and this business in this business spending so much trying to get it going and uh i kind of got into a a place of anxiety and depression and i started thinking that maybe my family was better off without me and i started thinking you know they'll get the life insurance they'll be better off you mm. know sorry i get emotional whenever i tell this but I know there's other people out there that struggle too. And and I realized before I did that, I needed to try to master this. And I really dove in deep. I did find some fantastic mentors that helped me. I rolled up my sleeves. I got to work. And I got really good at this. Hmm. And I said to myself, I want to make sure every agent that I get to associate with doesn't go down the same road road I was going down and mm. they'll have success too and I I know I know what we've done can help a lot of people so thanks for having me on just so we can Thank talk you. about it and it is helping a lot of people too you know yeah um, it is how much uh you mentioned like hey I, you know I felt like I was more valuable my family dead than alive but well, how much insurance life insurance would they have received at that point back then oh maybe a million bucks million and a half yeah, yeah. I mean it was a sizable month I mean that sure, was a sure. fortune for a kid that was earned 17,000 bucks and thought he was making a, you know, a great living, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I at least bought some. Right. I've got a lot more on me now than I yes, did then. But. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> and, and what you've created, you know, I mean, with, with your agency, um, and, and we'll get into this a little bit, some specifics, right. But he, he's with one of the largest, um, one of the largest captive carriers in the industry, um, does a ton of life insurance and PNC mm -hmm. and does a phenomenal job. Um, what, did you start with what, like with what you're doing now? Is that how you started? I did. Yeah. Wow. I've stayed with the same carrier the entire time. That's awesome. It's been fantastic. It's kind of hard to walk away when you're doing well, right? Oh, especially yeah, yeah. a couple over two million bucks a year in a yeah. say, town of 3000 people. Everybody knows you as that, right? Yeah. You're also like, um, a very successful individual and agency owner within the organization. You know yeah. everyone. Yeah. Um, 
you've helped a bunch of them as well. They've helped you. You've helped them. Yeah. Like, you know, it's just cool to see. Yeah. Um, I think that's a cool topic because I feel like what happens in our industry is, and I'm, and I'm, I'm, I mean, this is like constructive for those that are listening. Uh, so many agents get in this and their first 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, six months, um, are not easy. They struggle. They don't make a lot of money. They don't make sales. I know people that don't make sales at all the first six months. And then they That's think, tough, isn't it? That's oh, tough. it's freaking brutal. Yeah. Um, and then they think, well, if I just switched companies, yeah, everything will be fine. And, and the truth is, a lot of people that sit in your seat that I do podcast with, they technically, that's what they say. Yeah. If you just joined me, you would be fine. What's your take on all of that, honestly? Because there's a lot of agents that are sitting there wondering all the time. I think success depends on you, not your carrier, right? It's the message. Uh, you know, if you if you give your very best, people do business with those they like and trust, right? The products, the pricing, those things are secondary to who you are. So be the best version of yourself and you'll be fine. Mm. I agree. But on that note, too, like I, I, I – Started out selling one carrier, one product, not knowing how to get in front of people. Mm -hmm. But I, I just and 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 I, and I knew that man, if I can, if I can make this work and figure this out, life can get really good. Yeah. And I just committed. I, I am going to get really good here. It was never a, a for you too. It was probably never. A, there was no backup plan. Well, if this company doesn't work, I'll just go somewhere else. Oh, that's absolutely true. Right? It was my only option. And maybe I look back and I think because I'd burned the ships behind me, I only had one place to go and that was forward. Mm, exactly. Yeah. And I, th I think that happens a lot too, where there's constantly, I can go back, you know, what I was doing before. Or I can go somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's interesting. Hmm. Um, here's what I was thinking about too: is 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 for those that are out there, they're like, okay, I, I can't comprehend a two million dollar a year um, revenue agency, right? Mm -hmm. um, how does someone that is maybe just struggling to make six figures, how do they get there? Like, how do they get there first? Because there's levels to this. There's some, you know, you, to, to speak to your toolkit, yeah, there's some stairs, you know, you bet, to, to this, you bet. right? So I think su success uh, depends on a number of things. And that one is surrounding yourself with big thinkers, right? Because you'll start to think bigger and you're, you'll expand your own vision. So find a mentor, find somebody that can help coach you up that's been there and done it. The second is the willingness to roll up your sleeves and and also be open to trying new things. Don't feel like you're, you have to, one, only do what you're told, and two, stay within your box. Like, like be a big thinker and think outside the box, try to make that happen. Um, and then pray a lot. Mm. I think that the good Lord will bless those that are good stewards and ask for his help. And I believe really strongly in that as well. Amen. Yeah. Something that, that I don't do enough still. Yeah. Probably all of us. Right. Right. Yeah, for sure. Um, what, what, were, what, what were you, what do you think the younger Randy would think of you today? Hmm. <laughs> He would have been surprised if I could go back to talk to that the, the troubled Randy. I'd say keep your chin up. Don't give up. You're going to be okay. Mm. And you're not alone. Amen. Amen. There's so many agents that, that need to hear that message. Yeah. You know, it just people in general right yeah <laughs> you know i think great agents um are great sharers they're willing to share uh, rising tides lift all ships and so if you are struggling find the best agent you know find the best agent out there and just ask for some great advice you know i remember being that young struggling agent right in my first few months i remember calling 
about a dozen of the top agents in our company mm. and left messages with all of them. They're busy men, right? And women. I got one call back. Wow. I got a call from a gentleman in Atlanta, Georgia, named Scott Foster, who had been one of the top um, agents in the company for 40 years. And I got 10 minutes of his time. And I remember wow. asking him the question, like, what would you suggest a young agent do, like, to really be successful in this business? And I remember him saying something that has struck with me. And he said this, he goes, Randy, if you want to sell Bibles, you got to talk to the Christians. They're the ones that read that book. And I was a little slow on it. I didn't quite get his analogy. I didn't know what he meant. And he said, it's simply this. 82% of life insurance sales in America are made to the people that already own it. Mm. If you want to sell life insurance, start with the people within your book of business that already own it because they're more likely to buy more. Mm. And that was such a huge revelation. What a great blessing that was for me. And I've said it so many times to so many people. If you want to sell Bibles, talk to the Christians because they're the ones who read that book. If you want to sell life insurance, start with your existing book and you should have a review process every single year where you bring them in, sit them down and say, hey, this is what your policy is. It's a stair or a bucket. Hey, here's a video I'd like to have you watch. Take a look at it and tell me, is this what you want your policy to do or do you like something different? And and there's a whole process that we can teach people about how to do that. But the bottom line is if you have a review and you're talking to them, butts and chairs, right? There's so much opportunity. And that may be my secret sauce, maybe more than anything that, just that, just that alone. Mm. So there's a little tidbit for you. That's good. That's really good. I'm, I'm already getting like multiple ideas. I'm sure you guys are getting some notes too. Um, yeah. Here's one thing that stood out, okay, in, 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 a, in a big way. Um, you didn't just call one person for advice. You called 12. Mm -hmm. and you only got one call back, Yeah. right? But you called 12. 12. You get an eight, eight percent. You get a, yeah. you get an eight percent callback rate, right? Interesting. But you called 12 yep. to get one. Yep. So many agents are calling one and getting none and getting none. You called 12, right? It's a big difference. Yep. Uh, also you, I, I love that. That was, that's really good. Like, Hey, if you want to sell Bibles, talk to the Christians because those are the ones that read that book. That's good. Who believes in your product already? Just talk to more of them, of them yeah. right? Amazing, right? Super, super, super good nugget. Um, and then you said earlier about uh, mentors, you know, surrounding yourself with the right people, um, finding people that can help you. You talked about, you know, influences and, and coaches in your life, you mm -hmm. know, and how much. Um, the call that you got back, um, what was your first thought when you got off the phone? with that person because you before the call you were probably like i don't know what the freak i'm gonna do yeah exactly well f you felt like you were in celebrity presence to start with i was amazed that he was willing to take the time it's cool no strings attached he didn't charge me any money for his time he just willingly did it mm -hmm. i think the first thing i thought was i want to be that guy mm. i want to be that guy i want to be the one that lifts others too yeah. It's cool. Another thing was he taught me some things I didn't know. And I was like, I realized that, you, you know, you don't know what you don't know until you know it. And yep. all of a sudden I started thinking differently. I had another experience. Uh, it was at the end of my first year. I got invited to MDRT mm. as a brand new agent. I had actually ended up having a pretty good first year. And I remember walking into the elevator after the end of the first evening. And when you go to MDRT for the first time, you get this big bright sticker that you put on your name tag that says new qualifier. Rookie doesn't know what they're doing, right? They're here. And I'm just standing there in the elevator by myself and in walks this man in a three-piece suit. Now, I didn't know who he was, but his name was Guy Baker. And he was the president of MDRT. Mm. And it was just two of us on the elevator. And he saw my sticker. And he introduced himself. And as I did with everybody, I asked, like, so you got any recommendations for a new guy? And I remember him saying something that I really struck with me as well. He said, yeah, if you want to be average in this business, focus on customers' needs. But if you want to be great in this business, focus on their wants. 
He goes, you need to teach people and help them see what they want, not just what they need, because we move in the direction of our wants, not our needs. Mm. And that was transformative. And between what he taught me and what Scott taught me about Bibles, talking to believers, it really was the evolution of this stairs and buckets, you know, process that has now blessed thousands and thousands and thousands of people's lives. Yeah. Well, and you think about it too, like, yeah, you, you, you know, it was, it's the amount of families and people it's helped. It is yeah. at least thousands, right? Like oh, it's, yeah, it's been fantastic. How, wh- why is that? Like, so, so for those that are, you know, and again, you can go to insurance agency training.org to, to learn more about what we're talking about. Um, cause we only have so much time to discuss it today, but if yeah. you think about it, the, the stairs and buckets toolkit is a video that you are taught how to implement into your sales process. Yeah. And I've always thought that's um, really cool because for you to say something and then try to quickly train some newbie to do the exact same thing in the exact same way, mm-hmm. like that's hard. It is. And to get them to replicate it. Borderline impossible mm-hmm. for for a time frame. Yeah. Right. This, if they will just follow the process and plug it in, yep, can see much quicker success because they're just clicking play. Yep. Why has that been so revolutionary for a lot of these agencies? It's simple and easy, so it's easy to replicate, and the results happen so quickly that. Once you have a few wins under your belt, you're like, why would I do it any other way? Mm. And so then they keep doing it. Now, it's funny because sometimes we get really good at something so good that we stop doing it because we might think that we're just pretty good. I have a friend who's a, a great agent in Bethesda, Maryland that called me a couple of years ago. It was June. And he called me, he goes, hey, what's going on with this stairs and buckets thing? It's not working anymore. I go, what do you mean it's not working anymore? And he says, well, we've only sold like 14 policies this year. He goes, it's just not working anymore. I was like, really? So I was like, that's odd because it's working for everybody else. Went in the system, took a look. His team had logged in 14 times. <sighs> and I called him back. I was like, Jeff, like your team's batting 100%. They've logged in 14 times. They've used this thing 14 times and you've made 14 sales. I said, you got to stop being a candy ass and get after it because the more you use it, the more work. Well, he's like, dang it. I can't believe it. I thought they were using it all the time. All of a sudden, man, they're, they took off and their wow. production went up because it was just a matter of the more you use it, the more you'll have success. True. Isn't that a funny story? That's great. Yeah, yeah. So I tell that's that to everybody. It's like, just use it. So I think that's the secret sauce is it's simple and easy. It's not rocket science. Mm-hmm. And that's why anybody can do it. Yeah. yeah. Sell more life insurance. Yeah. yeah which is Talk cool. to more people, share it, let it do the heavy lifting for you. Yeah. D- does it, is it something that you first started in your own agency trying to figure out a way to sell more life insurance? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, really, I used to just do it on a piece of paper on a whiteboard oh, and yeah. I kind of scripted it. And then I had people start saying, hey, like, what are you doing? And I, I just show it to them. They're like, oh, you should... Like, can, can you videotape that for me so I can use it? And I had the bright idea because I'd been a teacher where we would we would create instructional videos for the kids in the weight room so they could learn how to lift properly, proper form, so mm. they wouldn't throw their back out or their hips out or something. And so we'd get these little cartoon videos that would teach the kids how to lift heavy weights, right? I was like, I should just do the same thing. So we created an instructional video mm-hmm that really does what would take an agent two or three appointments or two or three hours to teach a customer, turn it into a four minute video clip and it's four instant minutes. and simple. Yeah, it's very simple. I, I, I enjoyed it. Like it kept my attention the whole four minutes. It was um, very educational. Thanks. Like I was, yeah, I was really impressed for someone that, cause I, I hear, I, I've heard of like, you know, people being like, you know, hey, just have this client watch this 30 minute video. I'm like, bro, nobody's watching a 30 minute video. Yep. Like, I'm not watching the, like maybe this podcast, but like, come on, an hour. You know what I mean? And people's short, people's attention spans are short. Now, can I put a plug in for Kaboom Leads? Sure, please, please. Because, you know, this idea that, you know, you got, if you want to sell Bibles, you can talk to the Christians. But what I love about Kaboom Leads is you guys have done enough work on the front end that these people are interested in talking to us about life insurance. Mm. And I have found that when we take your leads and we marry it with this video clip, 
that instead of selling a thirty, forty, fifty dollar policy, we're selling a hundred and fifty, two hundred, two hundred fifty dollar policy. Wow. Because suddenly it's not about what they need, it's about what they want. And uh, I don't know about you, but there's something special about what you're doing. Because I've seen other lead vendors and they just don't seem to have the same, what I call high intent. Now, you still have to work those leads. For sure. Right? But those leads have better intent than anything I've used before. And cool. then we bring this video in and they really want, it's really a wants conversation. Now That's they really cool. want it. That's awesome. And then we sell based on their budget. Not everybody can afford two or 300 bucks a month. They may still end up being a $50 a month policy, but you know what happens a year or two later? Hey, can I have one of those bucket things? Mm. Yeah, I'll get you a bucket thing. Let's talk about it again. And then we walk into the, the product and the policy and you go through the details and how much can you afford? And okay, well, let's go ahead and get that started for you. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it, uh, it's a memorable concept yeah. too. That's what's cool about it's it. It's picture selling, right? Yes. And so there's something about it. You show it to a husband or a wife, they go home and tell their spouse and they're like, it was like this. And they can, they can tell the story and they get it. And so, it's cool. yeah. Well, thank you for the, the you bet uh, about Kaboom, man. I'm, I'm yeah, it's, really I, it's cool working good for us. Appreciate that. Um, it, what else do y'all help agencies with outside of just stairs and buckets? Yeah, so that's just one of seven tools in our toolkit that we provide. And if people are serious about wanting um, help with Medicare supplement, mm -hmm. with annuity sales, with other types of life insurance, long-term care, uh, even just a structure for how to run an agency, um, we, we've done this for 20 plus years and are one of the top agencies in the nation because we worked really hard to get where we're at and we'd love to share it with everybody. So they can go to the website and learn about what is available there if, if they'd like okay. more information. Be cool. happy to share it with them. Cool. Is there anything we're missing that we need to share? This has been awesome. I, I could, mm. I could, I could literally like almost interrogate you for hours because of how much knowledge you have, right? Oh, like, you're, you're being kind of, you know what? I put my pants on one leg at a time like everybody else. And um, I, I want to give my best effort and I want to make sure that um, I think Coach Burt, who I, I really respect, says it best. We're not in the business of letting anybody fail. Mm. And I can I can help you if you'll commit, but you got to commit so we can take you to the next level. That's you want to make a hundred grand a year. You want to make a million a year. It's theirs for you. It's it's for you right and we can help you get there so i love that I maybe love that's that. it just encourage everybody don't give up right Amen. you're not alone so good well thank you for all you're doing thanks for creating the stairs and buckets you bet she's so freaking amazing again i wish i'd have had it when i was selling life insurance as a brand new agent i would have definitely i made 117 grand i'd have made well, 234 triple it probably triple just like that three whatever that is you know what i mean like geez, for 60 bucks a month one right for 60 bucks a month. For 60 bucks a month. We priced it so the brand new starving agent can afford That's this so they cool. can make some money. Wow. We, we don't want, we don't need to make a fortune off this. We want to help. $60 a month. And if you can't afford 60 bucks a month, you probably shouldn't be in the business. Yeah. We spend more on that in like SEO marketing, right? Are you going to get a hundred grand on SEO marketing? You're going to get it on this. Yeah. Yeah. So. SEO is like... If Fugazi, Fugazi. There it's like, go. maybe. I don't <laughs> yeah. know. Is it working? I, I don't get it. <laughs> Where is it at? Is it happening? Mm -hmm. Are we even doing it? I don't, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> Do you guys see our blog? I have no idea. <laughs> well, thank you for all you're doing, and thank you for being on the podcast. Thanks, Cody. Appreciate, appreciate you, buddy. Okay. Appreciate you guys, man. Go to insuranceagencytraining.org to check out more of what Randy and Ben are doing. Uh, I got a chance to hang out with his business partner, Ben, in Monterey, California. Amazing dude. Salty the earth, awesome guy. Love what they are doing because of how simple it is. And keep it simple, basic. They help agents, agencies for as low as 60 bucks a month. Like it's really cool. Um, also, if you, because of the recommendation um, of Kaboom, uh, if you haven't used Kaboom yet, you can go to kaboomleads.com and use coupon code YouTube to get 10% off your very first order. Thanks for hanging. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Let us know in comments below what you thought. And we'll see you on the next episode. Adios.